I'd like to go over how the composite diver crane works and what some of its features and benefits are. First, let's put the cable on the crane so you can see what it looks like configured for a lift. The cables that we supply have a ball fitting swage on the end of the cable. However, the winch will accept bare cable also. As you can see, the ball swage fitting makes putting the cable on much easier. It just drops into a custom made slot in our winch and this allows you to switch cable assemblies much faster. If you look at the winch, you'll see that there's a hardware kit attached to it here to accept the standard bare end cable and standard cable termination. The winch is a DIN rated winch that has a west and load holding brake that's active in both directions, so the load is always supported. The crane telescopes out four positions total. Right now we're in the first position and we can go out three more spots to our last position there which has a load rating of 400 pounds. In the first position, the load rating of the crane is 1,200 pounds. I'm going to put it back in the first position just so it's a little bit easier to show the features. The crane is built with a combination of advanced composite materials, the yellow structural sections, and mil-spec zinc-plated steel, that would be the gold sections. All of our pins are custom-made, billet stainless steel, and we use zinc-plated lynch pins to secure the crane pins in place. We have a handle on the back of the crane that allows you to pivot easily when you're lifting above uh, elevated surface. And also a ratchet binder on the back of the crane that allows you to adjust the angle of the boom section while under load during a lift. This gives you a little bit extra headroom when you're lifting large objects or you need to swing the crane over a parapet wall. We have a couple different bases. What you see the crane mounted in now is what we call our pedestal base. We also have a socket base that mounts flush to a surface. So on the socket base, this tube would go into the floor or into a foundation of some sort. We also include a drill drive adapter with the crane. You need a half inch drive drill chuck. And we just remove the handle from the winch and the drill drive adapter slides in its place. And now we've got a powered winch. I'd like to point out that the pedestal base in our example is not bolted down or anchored. That's just for our demonstration. Normally you'd need to anchor that pedestal base down securely and also the socket base gets anchored down as well. The ball swage fitting on the stainless steel cable assembly as well as the galvanized cable assembly also fits the pedestal base for easy stowage. That pretty much wraps up the operation and basic benefits and features of the Oz lifting products composite data crane.